So one of the things I found really interesting is how um, once you experience DMT, you you see it, you smell it everywhere. Like you start to smell yeah. it, in nature, you start to in some cases smell it on people's yeah. breaths, um, and it becomes yeah. a, a kind of a realization where holy crap, this stuff is everywhere. It's oh, all yeah. around us, mm-hmm. but also it's inside us as well. Like our lungs have the high, one of the highest concentrations of DMT. Uh, as does you know the pineal gland, um, and I've you know discovered breath work, which you might be familiar with, holotropic, uh, and a range of different <laughs> breathing techniques that yeah. I've actually been able to, in some cases, replicate mild breakthroughs without any DMT intervention mm. whatsoever, um, which adds a, an enormous level of curiosity, but also an enormous level of potential for further treatment, depending on regulations and and how they mm. you know how they how they change. Have you got any um, anecdotal or, or experience when it comes to breath work and, <laughs> and how that's been used? Um, so there's a number of interesting uh, points you made there. And I, I think in terms of DMT being everywhere, uh, actually, when I first arrived in Japan, I would smell it in the, in the bathrooms, all the toilets. I think the, the cleaner they use uh, commonly in Japan has this indole kind of smell. Uh, so everywhere I was going, it smells like fucking DMT in here, everywhere. <laughs> and, 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 you're, and you're right. Once you've smelt that, that, that smell, it does appear everywhere. Uh, and it, it, DMT for me has this joke, it's the, there's a gesturous quality to it. There's, nice. a, there's mm. a, a maniacal kind of tricksterish quality to the experience um, that is undeniable. There is this comical ambiance. I, I, I always talk about this and this, this feeling that they're going, you know, they wink. The, the, I, I often describe it like the universe is winking at you uh, when you when you first take that first lung full of DMT and say, OK, do you get it yet? Do you get the joke? Um, and, and like we live within this cosmic joke yeah. and we, we take yeah. it seriously and we think you know this is the the real thing this is reality we have to take it seriously um but these beings are going come on surely you realize now that 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 it's just a one huge joke and and i see dmt being everywhere as being part of that it's like okay we're just going to place dmt absolutely everywhere it's, it's going to be in their noses it's going to be in their bodies it's going to be every in all the plants and, and animals around them, uh, but they're not going to work it out. And, and it'd be fun when they do, right? <laughs> um, I kind of get that feeling. I think that's perhaps part of it. Uh, yeah. And, it, you know, and, and, and in terms of breath work, uh, it's not unusual people to describe that. And, and certainly we know it's made in the body. We don't know w- where it's made. I'm glad you mentioned the lungs, actually, because you're right. It's not actually... We don't actually know there's a lot of DMT in the lungs. What we know is that the, the key enzyme uh, called um, it's basically, it's meth, a type of methyl transferase, basically it's, it's responsible for kind of finishing the DMT molecule chemically. Um, there's a lot of that in the lungs, highly expressed in the lungs. Yes, in the pineal as well, but I think the pineal is so tiny uh, that it's unlikely that it's, it's capable of producing sufficient quantities of DMT, but the lungs certainly would be. And that might connect to breath work. If you're doing certain types of breath work, perhaps breath work that induces hypoxic states. Um, mm-hmm. So people talk about like Wim Hof breathing, um, where you're actually becoming quite hypoxic. Um, and, and, and DMT release has been linked by certain scientists, perhaps as a protective mechanism for the brain when it goes into a hypoxic, so a low, low oxygen state. Uh, mm-hmm. And so, so I've never experienced that. Uh, and there's been no studies that have demonstrated that people are actually having a DMT experience under these circumstances, but I wouldn't rule it out. Um, yeah. And I think work needs to be done. There you have it, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Unstoppable with me, your host, Kerwin Ray. And please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you get to see all of these interviews in the, the flesh. Share this podcast with your friends. I would love to hear what you guys think. Thanks for joining us.